guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 29 of the World Tour with Shanghai Zhen Zen. And today we continue our Champions League campaign against Gamba Osaka and then we play Zhen Zin Sunning or Zhen Zhu Sunning in the Chinese Super League. Now since last episode where we had a win and a loss in our opening two games in the uh, Champions League, we had two games in the league, got our league campaign underway. First up it was Heenan, Jenny and or Jianni or however you pronounce that. This was a really frustrating game because we played really well. Uh, they, they, you can see they scored two goals and two shots on goal, and they were both worldies. They were just long distance, just, you know, stand up and just clap because they were that good. It was really annoying that two of them went in against us. Uh, we just couldn't get the win, but we played we played well. So I was relatively happy. We gave a debut to our new goalkeeper, as well as uh, Federico down the right wing, and he played, as you can see, played quite well. Then we went and we played, uh, who did we play next? Oh yeah, Shenzhen. Now this is a promoted team. Uh, we rotated heavily ahead of the Champions League game. Uh, and the second string got the job done. Again, they played really well. Federico got off the mark. He's, of course, ineligible for the Champions League because he didn't come before the registration deadline. Um, so he got a really good free kick goal. You'll see that goals of the month at the end of this episode. Uh, you'll see that goal. And Sun Weezy. Weezy's still going strong um, from the penalty spot in the 92nd minute to secure the win for us. You can see there, both match stats and player ratings. We deserve to win. Uh, of that there is very little doubt and uh, yeah it was just a good good solid win um, and you can see as well that Federico is looking quite the player for us um, and did uh, Vinicius of course got off the mark in the in the first game as well I meant to say that and Chen Min as well that could they be the two heroes of our team this year there's a good chance they could be now if we have a look at the league table after those two games you can see we're sitting two points off top it's a little bit disappointing to be honest um we should have had this should have had those uh, two wins but SIPG Shanghai SIPG have lost their first two games so we're, we're ruling Shanghai right now which is brilliant Lord Yang will be very happy with that um but Beijing two from two they did play uh, Shanghai in the first game if uh, I remember correctly as well and you can see the the Champions League league table here this is the first game massive game away to Gamba Osaka it's shaping up as though uh, Mutong here will be the whipping boys of the group. Um, John Book have beaten both us and Gamble already, so you assume that they're going to go on and dominate the group. And it's going to be between the two of us for second in the group and getting out uh, into the second round. So this is therefore a massive game. Let's have a look at the team we're sending out. Now, given it's away from home and being a little bit more conservative, um, sort of an eye on a draw being a decent result here for us away from home. So it's Zhang Peng in goal. We're going to go with a back three of Wellington, Yuri Ruz, and Rabao. Uh, and then Cuevas down the right. He is, of course, registered in Champions League squad, but not in the league squad. Uh, and Chen Min down the left. Feng, uh, Li Shen, and Humam, a midfield trio with uh, Yi Quinn and Vinicius up top. So you can see the way they're lining up. Very, very similar to us. Equally defensive, it looks like, unfortunately. Um, now, some news on the injury front. You may have noticed that uh, Deng Zhang Hong, our other midfielder, isn't playing. He's not on the bench either. He's injured. Uh, it was uh, relatively serious. Six weeks, I think. Um... So unfortunately, we're going to be without him for a while. Let's go out there and enjoy ourselves tonight, boys. This is the Champions League. Let's get out there and enjoy it. And hopefully, we'll get a win here. Um, we should, in theory, get better and better as, as the season goes on because we played our first two Champions League games in essentially pre-season for us, as well as the playoff as well. So we've done really well, I think, to get where we are. Um, it's just a matter now we need to kick on and we need to make sure we don't lose this game because if we lose this game then it gets difficult um we would then have to beat them in the reverse game and then hope that it's gonna be probably whoever if someone can get something against john book they would be the ones that go through uh assuming that we can all beat the thai club the advantage we have is that we've we play the thai club at home um but i think gamma do as well john book has taken the lead in that one um come on boys let's get creative here are we, we're not really holding the ball, are we? Are we a little bit too defensive, perhaps? Um, here's a corner. We're dangerous from these. Vinicius! Oh, it's flicked on, but headed away. It's still there for us. Can someone get a shot from the edge of the area? Yuri Ruz, you should be much closer to the goal than that, son. Wellington for Rabao. That's not who we want with the ball. We don't want our... Why do all our centre-backs have the ball at the edge of our penalty area? Spitting in excitement there. Um, it's free kick. Who's going to take this? It's... Li Shang, can he get one on goal? Just over. Uh, so that, that's a little bit promising, isn't it? A little, just a little flurry of activity. Uh, not one for the highlights of this game, is it? Uh, for all their possession, they have done absolutely nothing with it, have they? They haven't threatened us as of yet. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do with this, if I'm honest. They haven't played well. We, I mean, we haven't done, we haven't done anything. It's difficult to say if we played well or not. 
let's say we haven't. The match ratings aren't fantastic, and I'm wondering... We'll see how we react. I'm wondering if we need to go a little bit more attacking uh, in our outlook, sort of up here, rather than push Humam forward necessarily. Let's give it another get creative here. I don't like that Yuri Ruse is looking nervous. Now he's looking pressured. All right, we'll go more attacking, try and get the ball. I wonder if we can get the ball forward a little bit more as well, just a little bit quicker. Let's uh, go with some, show some passion. I, I mean, we've had one highlight the whole game. We've not really done anything, have we? Um, all right, let's try hit early crosses then. All right, come on, boys. I think a solid defensive performance is important here. Like I say, a draw is a really good result away from home for us. Oh, man, with a heavy touch. Humam's either good or he's not. He's horrible. We've seen him get caught on the ball a lot, haven't we? Um, come on. Chen Min gets the ball in. Vinicius! Oh, just over the bar. I'm wondering, actually, we do have right now Humam as a, trying to get forward as an attacking and I think he plays better on support, if I'm honest. I think that's where he's more comfortable. So we'll try dropping him back, even though we don't really have anybody up there right now. Um, you know, we do kind of need him getting forward to support the strikers. All right, we're going to try and make a change here. We're going to go... What, what are we going to do? Um, the thing is, is that we're, we're just not playing well. Let's... What do I want to do? I want to get to here. Ten minutes to go. Let's not exploit the flanks. Let's try that. I'll give it a demand more here as well. Let's focus them a little bit more. Do we push? I'm scared to, I'm scared to concede a goal. It's not a classic, guys. I apologize. But it is a very good away point. Can we get something? No. Can Feng unleash something? Here's a chance. We're in over the, a lot of time. No, Chen Min's cross is blocked, and that should be it. Well, like I say, guys, not a classic, but hopefully you agree. That is a really, really good point on the road. And even though we didn't have much of the ball, we would definitely showed a lot more than they did. Um, so that's something. I'm going to say I'm not pleased, though. We really... I mean, I know we played a very defensive formation, but I would expect something. And John Book, they did get the narrow win in the other game, so that sets the group up, well, perfectly for if you're a uh, if you're a John Book fan, doesn't it? Um, but what it does do is it sets up the, the home tie now against Gamba massively, because if we can win at home now, which on the base they didn't do anything. I'm wondering if we should have uh, maybe gone for it a little bit more. That being the case, but if we go for it a little bit more at home, hopefully we can. Uh, yeah, we can get the three points there. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Jansu and hopefully some goals. I definitely owe you a few. Now, just before we get to uh, to the Jansu game, I know there was uh, someone in the comments. I forget who it was. I apologize. But I wanted to see sort of the training schedule to see how we're, uh, how we're working this. Now, I haven't done it before this um, because we're in preseason. It was, as you can see, it's just sort of preseason, early, mid, and late. Now, I tend to let the assistant sort of just set up training and then sort of adjust it where I think we need it. Um, so we started off, you can see, just doing balanced training because, you know, early season, you don't really know how we're playing yet. This week, uh, just gone, you can see there's the Gamba Osaka game. Um, we have an international break, which is why there's a sort of a free weekend here. So that was tactical, just trying to get everybody up to date with tactics. Now, given that we really, really did struggle to create much against, uh, well, we've struggled to create chances in the first three games, really. Um, this coming week, we're going to be working on attack, just Get the ball forward. You can see attacking, attack, all, the, all the different attacking uh, options there. Um, and then we'll go back to tactical. Unless something happens, that's what the assistant has, has sort of scheduled for next uh, the week after that. So it kind of gives you an idea. And if we go to, I mean, April, I haven't even looked at yet. Um, but what I'll tend to do is if we've conceded goals from set pieces, then I'll just early on in the week after a game. So it's not going to tire them out too close to a game. Um, and given that we have Shanghai SIPG this week, we might do it anyway. I usually just go to defend corners and then attack corners as well. And then if we're struggling from set pieces, then I'll do that as well. Um, I like to do it early in the week, as I said, because they're not getting a rest. So I don't want them to be tired out later in the week, closer to the game. Um, but yeah, I just find that's a good way just to make sure you're not conceding from goals. And, it, you know, who doesn't love nicking a goal from a corner? So there we go. That's the way I work training. It's I hope... You know, that sort of helps you guys a little bit understand sort of where, where I come from and how I sort of co coach the team, I guess. Um, 
but yeah, so this week in training, it's about all about attacking play, and hopefully we'll see the rewards for that against Genzu. Okay, welcome back. We are about to get back to business in the league against Genzu. They are currently bottom, haven't won a game as of yet, or even picked up a point. You can see they've got their two losses there. Um, so it's important, you can see here, we have a chance to go joint top, although Beijing are playing the same time as us, but we need to try and keep uh, pace with the teams at the top here. So it's an important game, despite being away from home, and for some reason, not the favourites. Uh, this is the team we're sending out. So our first look at uh, Jinan, uh, our new goalkeeper. Rui Ruiz and Rabao continue in defence. Federico and Chen Min provide the width. Uh, it's Li Feng, it's Yi, and it's uh, Li Shen in midfield. Uh, Opajet has to come in, because you can see here, Humam's come back from international duty, looking a little bit tired. Um, so he's not really able to start. And then Yaquin and Vinicius. Hopefully they'll get some goals for us. So we can see the way they're lining up, a little bit similar to us. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see what we can do here. What do we want to say? Let's get some passion going. Let's do it for the fans. When away from home, come on, let's show me what you can do. I think I like that. Some calm, we have faith. They're looking motivated here, so that's a good sign. Let's get out there and see what we can do. I'd like to see Vinicius get some goals this game. He's going to take some time to settle in. I understand that. It's a new country. He's got to learn the language. He's got to settle in with his teammates. But he is an absolute beast of a striker and I want him to start scoring he's already got one so it's not like he hasn't scored anything here he is from the set piece for this yes oh it's on target that dipped late didn't it good decent save from their keeper to be fair all right let's give this a get creative and see what we can do here with dominating possession which is good uh we just need to go and get that goal don't we and uh, they're coming back into it a little bit now which isn't ideal I would like to get some goals here for nothing else just for the episode I don't want to do a goalless episode. I don't think we've had one of those on the World Tour as of yet. Um, so we got a good win from Yuri Roos. Yaquin has the ball deep. He goes for Erpajan. Go on, Erpajan. Erpajan! It's a decent save from the keeper again. It's a big game for Erpajan, isn't it? He doesn't get much of a chance anymore. Change of formation and with uh, Humam in the team. Yashin knocks it in and it's claimed by the keeper. A bit too close to him, that one. No, that, oh, sorry, that may not be the highlight. We might have a counter-attack to worry about, but it was indeed the highlight. Um, speaking of highlights, well done to Vinicius tracking back. He's done really well there to rebel to our new keeper, Giannan. Take your time. That's fine. Out to Yuri Ruse. Goes out to Chen Min, and can we look to launch something here? Look at Chen Min. He's got so much pace. Go on, son. Can you pick a pass? He's gone back post for Federico. Federico, can you pick up Vinicius? He goes to penalty. It's a stone wall penalty. You don't need to look at VAR for that one, ref. That is a penalty. It's as clear cut as it gets. We're wasting everybody's time here, ref. This is ridiculous. If he doesn't give a penalty, there will be hell to pay. But it's just a penalty. Good run from Federico, wasn't it? Did really well. Now, I... I'm thinking it's probably going to be Vinicius that takes it. Um, it could be... I don't, I don't remember looking at uh, penalty-taking stats. We just let them choose. I don't set them because if the attributes change, I'd rather just let them decide who's going to take the penalty. It is... We still don't know who's taking the penalty. We still don't know. It, it's, oh, it's Li Shen. Good penalty. There we go. That's his first for the club as well. On loan, of course, this year from Evergrande. And that looked confident, didn't it? That was a really, really good penalty. I forgot to give a shout. Even though the keeper went the right way. He was nowhere near that one. All right, let's demand more here. Let's not rest on our laurels. He is on a booking. which Midfielders on bookings do make me a little bit nervous. But Beijing's taking the league. El Thiago Almeida. I had bought him in my Villa game. Uh, my Villa save. And he is just absolute class. So... Yeah, I mean, on the back of him alone, they should, they should walk this league, old Beijing. They're a really good team, aren't they? It's really annoying. Um, we've absolutely dominated that half, but it has to be a nice, good old, fat, assertive, do not get complacent. Um, or do I say, no, you know what we're going to say here? We've played well, there's room for improvement. I prefer that. We'll go down, anybody that's not playing particularly well, 6, 7 or underneath, we'll say that they're not playing well. Um, anybody else will say, well done, keep going, more to come. Um, and that way, despite, we've dominated the game, we really, really have dominated the game, but we're just a worldie or a mistake or something away from uh, being equal. And let's face it, we haven't scored from open play, so it's not, 
I'm going to tell Vinicius this, I'm not happy with him either. F try and fire him up. Um, we expect more from Vinicius. I think that's the problem a little bit, isn't it? A 6.8, you know, in the context of the rest of the team isn't the worst. But we, we high, hold him to a higher standard. All right, let's give it a get creative here. Oh, we've got some work to do defensively first. That's too much space on the edge of the area there, boys. We've got out to him relatively quickly, but not quickly enough. It's a, uh, it's another goal, and it's kind of like the Heenan ones. The Heenan ones were better than that. We've got, what? Uh, I mean, nobody. Did, you're there on the edge of the area specifically to close down people like that, and you've just stood there the entire time. That's what that's what your job is. Oh, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Um, we'll give it a get creative once that shout wears off. One shot, one goal, and we find ourselves on level terms. That's exactly what I was fearing. Exactly. It's like the demonstration of what I was worried about. Uh, we do have a week this week where we have uh, a game on Wednesday and then another game again on the next on Sunday or Saturday of the next week. So. We've got to bear that in mind a little bit. Let's demand more here. And there is news on the contract front as well. I have been offered uh, the opportunity to sign a new contract. Our contract right now runs out at the end of this season. So it's a bit of feedback from you guys. Do we... That's a red card. Get him off. Um, do we... So let's... We want to stretch the field now, don't we? If they're going to be down to 10. Um, and we probably want to be... Do we want to be patient? No, let's not be patient. Um, do we want to sign a new contract and stay here? I think we want to see how the Champions League plays out, I think. But do we, at the end of the year, just walk away, uh, head off probably to South America and sort of win, lose, or draw in the Champions League? Do we ease off as well? They're down to nine. Very attacking. We've just... Oh, we've got seven minutes. We need, to, we need to be patient. We need to just wait for our chance here now. Uh, we don't need to raise the tempo. We don't need to time waste. I'm petrified, to be honest, of a counter-attack. But we just need to be patient now. We just need to be patient. Get creative, boys. I'm wondering if we bring Humam on for this last little bit for his passing, even though I ideally would like to rest him. Let's bring him on. For, just for his creativity. Uh, we probably don't need a pressing forward now. Let's put you as a poacher. Come on, boys. Oh, we're against nine men. Surely, surely we can break down nine men. Remember your training, boys. We did this all week in training. Attacking play. All right, here goes Chen Min. We will not get a better opportunity to win a game of football, will we? Yiquin goes early for Federico. Federico brings it down nicely for Opergen! Who needs who, man? Let's cancel that, keeping fresh. Opergen with the goal, his first of the year. And I should probably now take us off very attacking. Let's just be positive. Uh, everything else there, we can keep the same. Well done, boys. It's against nine men, but we, <laughs> we've just about earned that. Good finish from Opergen too, wasn't it? That's what we want to do. Spread the field wide. Go from side to side. Exploit those flanks. Work it into the box. That's exactly what we've done. And Federico, another assist, and not the most convincing finish to Murphyjan, to be honest. He's kicked it straight at the keeper. You had, you know, half a goal over there to aim at. Um, I don't think... It's been given, hasn't it? So we don't have to, he's not offside anyway. Good goal. There we go, boys. So that should now, hopefully, we should be home. We should be able to see it home from here. Let's tighten up. And we are just about done. This should be it. So not convincing. Not our best result. But against nine men, we have managed to score a goal and win the game 2-1. I think we've deserved it, though. On the, on the sort of the, the course of the whole game, we've, we've deserved it. From the corner, can we put a nice little cherry on top? No, we cannot. That's okay. We'll take that, won't we? As I said, not our best, but no one can argue that we didn't deserve to win that. We just got a little bit of a helping hand by a team that was very intent on breaking up our play with kicking us in the shins. Um, we'll say good win. We'll say good win. And there we go. All of a sudden, we are second in the league. 
Um, and so that is good to see, but Beijing look imperious. They, they're unbeaten and they've played Tianjin and they've played Shanghai SIPG. So they are going to be a big, big test this year. They've got to be favourites for the league. They just have to be. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Just goals of the month to come. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome, of course. Um, and make sure you ring the bell to see what else we have going on. It's been a decent start to the year. A few too many draws, perhaps, for our liking, um, but not too bad. Let me know what you think in the comments, too, of, of our future. Do we look just to see out this contract and see how we go? Uh, are we done? Either way, do we just... We've had This is our crack at the Champions League. If we don't do it, then we leave, head off to South America. Let me know what you think. I don't... I'm not sure what I want to do. We will be back on Monday. Hope everybody does have a good weekend and you have a big uh, game to look forward to because we have the derby against Shanghai SIPG struggling a little bit down in 11th and then a massive Champions League tie away. I thought we, I think I said earlier on we, we had them at home. We've played them at home. We beat them. We go away to Thailand uh, to play uh, Muon Tong um, and that is a crunch must win game, isn't it? Given that I'm a little bit regretful that we didn't go for that Champions League game more against Gamma, but we have to win this game. We just have to win it. So two big games, both away from home. That's all for Monday, guys. But until then, I've been Aussie Beyond. Thank you so much for watching. And here are our goals of the month from the first month of the season. Take care.